All right, guys, it's Simon here from the English Dental Quarters. I'm here with Justin Lowe from After the Burial. How's it going? Good. Cool. So how's the tour going so far? It's going great. Um, we're about 11 days in, and uh, every night has been crazy. And we started it off with uh, two days in Russia by ourselves, and then we met up with the tour. And to be honest, it's, it's you know one of my favorite tours I think we've ever done so far. And the crowd response is like overwhelming every night, and it's, uh, it's a really cool experience to be over here. What's it like touring with the other bands? What I like? It's awesome. Like we're all friends, you know, and it's like it's cool because everyone is bringing a com something completely different, you know, to the table musically. And I feel like all the bands like really are fitting and blending together well stylistically and like basically just putting on an overall like pretty hopefully a satisfying concert experience for everybody that uh, that comes and checks it out. So yeah. <laughs> Did you know all the bands before you uh, met up? Um. Yeah, uh, we you know we met Monuments before. We hadn't met the Heart Machine yet, but uh, Born of Osiris are good friends of ours. We've been playing shows together since we started. Like our band started in like 2004. You from the same area? 2005. No, we're both from the Midwest. They're from Chicago. We're from Minneapolis. It's about an eight-hour drive. But ever since we started, we were just going down to Chicago and uh, playing shows with them, and vice versa. They'd come up to Minneapolis, and uh, it's really cool to like you know all these years later to have us be you know touring internationally. So are you guys playing any new songs tonight on this tour, ones that we haven't heard? Yeah, we're playing one. It's called The Wolf Amongst Ravens. It was actually the first song that we wrote for the new album. Uh, we're experimenting with some new tunings on it. It's actually like a nine string tuning. We took the low F off of the eight string and put a 90 gauge string on there. I saw that. You've got to, new uh, string endorsements. Someone offered you some La experimental strings or something. La Labella um, is a company and uh, they hook us up with some 90s at a show in New York. And uh, we threw him on our guitar. Trent called me. He's like, "Dude, you gotta hear this. It sounds crazy." And I'm like, and I heard it. And I was just like, "Holy shit! We gotta, we gotta figure out how to use that." So is that what the direction the whole new album's going with the new no, tuning? No, there's or? only a few songs in that tuning. Um, yeah. We're kind of reverting back to a lot of seven-string stuff like we used to do. And there's also some eight-string songs as well. So right now it's kind of shaping up to be like a metal mixtape or something, you know, with all these different styles that we're trying to, to put in there. And yeah, the C sharp. Uh, Tuning is definitely a unique sound, and it's, it's, it's a new sort of experiment for us, but it's, it's going pretty well, and the, the crowd reaction to the song has been great so far. So, uh, how far are you into the process of the new release? Um, we're actually ready to start recording uh, when we get home from this tour in about two weeks. Yeah. So, uh, we so start tracking. Everything's written, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, it's almost done. Um, you know, when we get in the studio, sometimes, like, you know, we might end up writing a little bit more, but. But as of now, like yeah, we're pretty much set to go. Um, can you explain your writing process? Um, it's kind of tough because our singer lives in California, and our drummer lives about six hours north of us in Minnesota. But through the internet and like sending demos and stuff, everything is like, it's pretty. Uh, it, it, it makes it possible for them to live, you know, not in the same city as us. And a lot of times, I'll demo stuff and I'll send it to the band. A lot of times Trent will do the same thing and you know just get feedback from everybody and we actually just share a Dropbox and uh, we have you know we just throw like 100 riffs in there and then everyone in the band can open it on their computer and go through and listen to kind of see what everyone thinks about it and uh, that's been working actually pretty well so you know once we once we find the riffs we like and how we, often, we build the songs and uh, how often do you all get to practice with that like arrangement like usually we have out. the uh, the practice schedule around our tours um, you know we, we tour a lot like so I mean we'll, we'll have Anthony come out about two weeks earlier maybe two or three weeks earlier we have practice every day for you know a couple weeks at a, at a time and try to instead of doing like a you know once or twice a week practice schedule we sort of just take it and we you know cram it all into just like two or three weeks straight do a tour and then um, after the tour you know we'll, we'll just do it again you know Cool. Mm -hmm. so, um, when can we expect to hear the new release? Um, it's kind of tough to say. I mean, it'd be cool to have it out sometime, like uh, maybe in the summer, but I'm not sure. Like, I mean, if we're on schedule, you know, Rare Form took us about 34 days to record it. Um, we should be able to finish it hopefully by the summer, you know? So I don't want to make any promises, but if everything goes smoothly, it should be. Since we start recording guitars like in a couple of weeks, and uh, we're just gonna do that until it's done and get through the drums. Are and, you uh, producing it all yourself, or yeah. do you work with someone else? Yep. 
you know, we're gonna we're gonna produce it ourselves like we did the first two albums. Um, as far as mixing goes, we uh, we have some mixes we're pretty happy with, but we might be working with someone else too. So you uh, use an X fixes now, aren't you? Yeah, for sure. Is there what else do you use? Like uh, um, for live, that's pretty much it. Um, I use a I use a power amp for like my own monitor, but I run it in stereo, so half of the signal goes to front of house, and the other the other half just goes into the power amp in a cab on stage, mainly because. What I like to have come out of the cab probably wouldn't work out of the PA because it's so scooped and there really isn't a whole lot of mid going on. So I found that I can get the sound I want on stage just by running a completely different channel with a different EQ and everything and uh, kind of just try to match that level with what my, um, my DI line is that's going to the front of house. And so far it's been working. I mean, it makes touring internationally a lot easier. Because I literally just take the X specs in a little bag on the airplane with me, you know, and show yeah. up and play anywhere with it. It's cool. Cool. Yeah. So, have you got any future tours or dates planned you should plug? Um, I mean, nothing for certain other than like a download festival, which we're extremely happy about. Um, I can't wait to, to go and play it. Uh, we're, we have a, a small handful of festivals lined up right now in the beginning of the summer. And uh, once the new CD comes out, I'm sure we'll be announcing some more stuff. That's cool. Cool. Thank you for your time. Yeah, for sure. Cheers.